Good morning, everyone. This is Andrew Rodman with Western Marketing. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for hopping on. Looks like we're having a few more people getting on, so we're going to wait just a second or two. And while we're waiting, we're going to do a few housekeeping things. Uh, I just sent a message in the chat box that's down below. So if I could have somebody, anybody in the audience, go ahead and just type in there that they can hear me loud and clear and they can see the screen, I would greatly appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Don. I appreciate that. Um, I've got a guest of Ratliff with me today with Medico. Uh, always with Medico, they keep things fresh and exciting. Uh, we had the opportunity to kind of look at this dental plan. Uh, Tyler, the health marketing coordinator, and I did last week and the week before. So uh, super excited about it. They've got some features in here that no other dental plan has in the market. Price point's great and the benefits are awesome as well. Not to mention, you got people, I guess, that's on the back end with Medico that offers uh, superior service and support for you guys as agents. And uh, yeah, super excited about it. Let's go ahead and get uh, Gus on the line and let's get rocking and rolling and learn a little bit more about this dental plan. All right. Well, thank you, Andrew. And thank you, everybody, for being on today. Um, hopefully, you're having an awesome Friday, getting ready for a good weekend. Um, we're going to talk about our brand new dental plan. It is a fantastic plan. Um, we're going to talk just a little bit about Marketplace and just a little bit about um, some cross-selling opportunities that come along with uh, a dental plan when you are offering this. Um, if you do have any questions, you do have a question and answers box um, over on the side of your screen. So go ahead and ask them. We'll probably hold them until the end of the webinar, however, um, and then we'll get to them and answer them. So don't think that we're just not seeing them. Um, if one of your questions about the slides, you will get all the slides after today's webinar and a follow-up email, I believe from Andrew, along with incentive flyers um, and any other information that you need. So you first and foremost, why is it a good idea to have dental? Why does dental coverage matter? Well, there's a lot of things that come along with the dental coverage, including um, the importance of good oral health. Oral health goes a lot further than just our teeth, right? And it can contribute to a lot of other things, including respiratory disease, cardiovascular disease, uh, diabetes, osteoporosis, Alzheimer's disease. I always think about like these two bullet points. It's kind of the same as when you have that conversation about a cancer plan. It resonates with everybody. We know somebody who probably has diabetes or Alzheimer's. You hear the the story, somebody's grandparents or something along those lines, whether it's family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, it can resonate with somebody. So when you start talking about poor oral health, you're going to get into these things and we're going to be able to really relay this message to people that it's more than just a plan to have, it's more than just a premium, it's protecting their overall health. Um, along with this, more than 70% of adults 65 years and older have periodontal disease. And then 62 is the average age for people diagnosed with mouth, throat, and tongue cancer. So then you can start talking about a cancer plan. Um, if we can help somebody um, supplement with a cancer plan to help them kind of keep their savings intact when it comes to a cancer plan, we're going to be able to help them out overall financially. And that's really um, what we want to be able to do in the long run. We want to keep their savings intact. We want to help them as much as we can because when you start educating people and we start getting these plans in place, we're going to start doing more for ourselves when it comes to retention and referrals. That education cycle always comes back to you in that instance. The 65 years and older for the periodontal disease, we're going to be in the senior market. So if we can get to them before they turn 65, since this plan is available at 18, you can hopefully help them go to the dentist more and drive that percentage down. Now, when we're talking to the Medicare population, we know that there's a lot of misconceptions, there's a lot of limitations, and people just don't know what their Medicare does and does not cover. So again, it leads to an education opportunity. I really consider the 52.6 million Medicare beneficiaries an opportunity group because we know that um, most dental services, routine services, cleanings, uh, fillings, tooth extractions, even dentures, um, those aren't going to be covered. We know that. It's a matter of, does your client know that? Usually, they don't. Um, they don't know that a standalone product exists to help them supplement those costs. So it's leading to 
40% of seniors not going to the dentist in the past year, that is leading to an ER visit. So you see it's just a domino effect. Now, the ER visit, because we know that Medicare Part A only helps pay for the inpatient hospital care for an emergency or complicated procedure, again, leads to a cross-selling opportunity. If you're familiar with Medicare's hospital indemnity plan, you can start talking about it here. Hey, you know what? If something does happen, you have to go to the ER, you're admitted, or you go to the observation unit, we can help you with that. We can help you with co-pays with the hospital indemnity. You know that they have no minimum hours required in the observation unit to get coverage under that hospital indemnity. So we're gonna be able to help them in two different ways. Ultimately, they're gonna save even more money by going with that cross-selling uh, route. So I know that sometimes that conversation might be hard and you feel like you're just asking a lot from your client, but in the long run, you're gonna help them out because most people don't have this kind of money out of pocket to pay these average costs of dental services. This is average, this is US average, this is not just Omaha where I am or anything like that, uh, but you see that we're ranging from $65 to $1,400. And a lot of times when people start putting off going to the dentist, it's not just one of these things that they end up having to have. They're gonna have maybe three of them, x-ray, a periodontal scaling, cleaning, maybe even an extraction. If they're older, maybe dentures, those are gonna add up really quickly. So that's where this new plan comes into play, our gold and platinum plan. All right, so where are we available? April 1st, we're gonna be available in these 11 goldish states that you see here. Um, now, if you're not in one of these states, that's okay. We're gonna start rolling out um, on tiers. So this is tier one is the first 11 states you see here. The ones in blue are gonna have the current plan that Medico has until they get the new plan. And there's a tier two and there's a tier three. And those will roll out until AEP this year. Now, I don't know exact dates on states. Um, I might know what tier your state is in, but that's probably about all I'm going to know right now. Uh, we're just so focused on getting these first 11 out that we haven't set an exact date for the next one. And as you guys probably know, um, each state to their own with filing and their timelines. So that can be kind of complicated sometimes, but we're actually gonna roll out 40 states, which is seven more than we already have, which is also very exciting. Um, the gray, obviously they're just not gonna have anything. Now, when it comes to network, we're actually gonna keep the same network so that maximum care, um, the plus connection dental network, that is gonna focus on neighborhood dentists. It's actually one of the largest dental networks nationally. So that's awesome, especially if you're selling in those rural areas. I always think about like my parents' town or where I'm from in Missouri, it's a small town, we have one dentist. This is gonna focus on neighborhood dentists like that and help people out even more. Um, if you're not familiar with it, what that means is your client can go to any dentist that they want and they're gonna have coverage. But if they're in network, they're gonna have additional coverage. If you'd like to help your client find that, you can go out to that um, gomedicode.com site that's the client facing one and there's a dental network option in there and it just goes by zip code. So let's take a plan or take a plan. Let's take a peek at the plan um, and a little bit of high level here. There are the two plan options, so the gold and the platinum. There's two ways for your clients to save some money. There's an add a spouse discount and a multi-product discount. What these are, they're kind of specific. So add a spouse, so Let's say a husband and wife, the husband applies for it and his wife adds a plan. Her plan is going to have 12% off. So it's one 12% discount for the spouse. The multi-product discount. This is if your client either has a plan, has a Medicare supplement or final expense in place, or they are um, applying for one. They'll get a 5% discount. Now, make a note that that means that they were to drop that plan, they'll lose that 5% discount. So what we're trying to do is help you guys even more with retention rates by getting two plans in a household. There's first day coverage, which is huge for us. If, if you're familiar with Medico, you know that that's something we haven't done before really um, on dental products. Um, you also have <clears throat> two options for riders. There's a buy-up rider, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, so let's say that your client chooses the gold 1000 plan and they say, you know, I, I just want a little bit more coverage than that. They can choose the buy up plan and buy another thousand dollars worth of coverage. So now they automatically have two thousand dollars worth of coverage. 
or, notice I said or, not and, so these, these riders are either or, they can go with a calendar year maximum carryover rider. So this one means, um, let's say that you sell the plan during AEP, so maybe in the middle of November, and you sell them that gold 1000, they get to December 31st and they haven't used their plan at all. Instead of losing that $1,000, they're gonna carry it over to January 1st, and now they have $2,000 worth of coverage. They can carry over whatever they have left of their plan that will max out at $3,000, but if you sell it during July and they use $500, they can carry over that extra $500 the next year. So those are some pretty cool riders. I really think it's just getting your client extra money somehow to add a very low cost. The thing to note on here is that the applications are accepted electronically. That means on April 1st, all dental plans, so that means new and current, will only be accepted electronically. If you're not super familiar with my enroller, now is going to be the time to go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's dive into these plans. They're actually really easy to understand, really easy to talk about uh, to your clients as well, and they're pretty similar. Really, the only difference um, in these is that Medica is going to pay 80% coinsurance on basic services after the deductible, only a $50 deductible, unlike the 100 um, on the platinum plan, and then 50% on the gold plan. So $50 deductible across the board, no waiting period on preventative, basic, or major services. No waiting period on major services. How awesome is that? Um, what we're going to do also is cover routine checkups at 100% with no deductible. That's unlike the previous plan. We're also going to include first dollar coverage on preventative services. And then, so we talked about basic services, first day coverage on major, and the first 12 months after the $50 deductible, your client's gonna pay 80%. And then in the second 12 months, your client's gonna pay 50%. Also with this new policy, we're gonna cover crowns um, every three years. So what that means is one crown per three years, and one implant per three years. That's different than right now because it's one per seven years, I think. Uh, I believe so anyways. Um, and, but now you're going to drop that down to three years. So a very affordable plan, a useful plan. They can use it right away, no matter what, um, on preventative basic or major services here, um, whether that be dentures or implants or extractions. Maybe they just need a filling. They're going to be able to go ahead and use that. They'll choose between the four calendar year maximums, depending if they want a gold level or a platinum level. Now, we're going to talk about rates here in just a little bit. So hold your questions on rates there. And let's jump into my enroller. I know most of you already know how to use my enroller, but just in case you're not super familiar, just remember you can use it on desktop computers, laptops, or tablets. Um, we're actually going to be doing quite a bit of updating to our Mayan roller, so it's going to have a different color than what you're used to, and it's going to have some pop-ups, and I'll show you those on here. We also accept e-signatures, voice authorizations, so what that means is if they're not sitting right there in person, that's okay. You can email them their application, and they can sign it electronically. They'll just need their birthday and phone number, so just please double, triple check that you have those right or you can do a voice authorization. That voice authorization, um, it just means that you're gonna have to conference call them in, either on your cell phone or your office phone, which all those can do that for you. And then we're gonna give you a little prompt to read. At most, it's gonna take you maybe four minutes to get through the authorization part, and then it's attached to their file. It also tells you kind of a specific way to hang up so that you don't just keep recording, because just because you hung up doesn't mean it stops and then it won't attach. So just make sure you kind of see it all the way through. Okay, so if you do need to go download your mind roller, this is your agent website, mic.gomedico.com. Notice there's no www, it's not a typo. Um, you just have to have your agent number to get in there because it's agent facing. It's over here in this top right corner. You'll click there and then you're gonna get three options. So, April 1st, that met the Mind Roller Online is going to release a new version. So if you were one of them that was affected by us taking that online version away, if you have a MacBook and doing all those updates, it's gonna come back out on April 1st as well. So that's pretty exciting, makes it a lot easier for you guys. 
you have your mind roller, that first one, that's if basically if you don't have a MacBook or an iPad, you'll use the first one. And then your iPad version and your new one. Those pop-ups, here's what they're gonna look like. They're gonna come when you're writing a med sub. Um, obviously, we're not gonna pop up on hospital indemnity if the percentage doesn't apply to them there. So you'll see it a few times, and I know sometimes we get irritated with pop-ups, but it's just to help your client out and get that extra 5% discount, helping you guys out with getting more products in the household. Um, so just kind of bear with it, be patient. Like I said, there will be a new color. It's gonna be in blue, and then your home screen's gonna look just a little different, mainly just when you're selecting discounts on there, like household discounts or couples discounts. Those are the other things that'll be different on there. So make sure on April 1st, you kind of take your time that morning when you're opening your My Enroller um, and really look through it, maybe run through a couple demos really quick just to get your new changes under your belt and be comfortable. Okay, selling this plan. We do have some new marketing material that's coming out. So we have highlight sheets that are in Spanish and English. So if you're in that Spanish market, we now have some stuff available for you. Um, I also believe that we have a hospital identity one in Spanish. So now we have two products that have moved that way. We're going to continue to do so. And that also just kind of presents a new opportunity as well. If you're not in the Spanish market, you can start to be now. And then we have our brochure. Now, I said I was going to talk a little bit about rates, and so I'm going to bring up here in just a second, I'm going to bring up for you guys what the inside of the brochure actually looks like, because it is pretty cool, and it's something we've never done before, and I don't believe that a lot of other companies do, but we're going to give you rates right in your brochure. So give me just a second here, get this over here. My computer's kind of been a little funky. It's ready for the weekend and we're not quite there yet. So this is what the brochure is gonna look like. You can now order these hard copy on um, Merrill out there on Mix. Right here, cost per month. The Gold 1000 plan is gonna run 36.80 for your clients. $1,546, so on and so forth. If you wanna add a writer, the buy-up writer is about $12 per month and the carryover writer is about $8 per month. It's just going to remind you, hey, that 5% discount, don't forget. And then that spousal discount, don't forget about it either. And it's gonna help you explain. You can leave these behind with your client if you would like to, but we think that it's actually pretty cool. I am really impressed with the fact that it has rates in here. You don't have to um, necessarily open the My Enroller and do a quote if you don't want to. You can give them a number and say, hey, this is what you're looking at. You wanna add some writers, these are what you're looking at as well. Very, very helpful. I really believe that I think marketing did a great job on that. All right, so moving away from the product, let's see how we can earn some money. So our incentive for Q2, now before we dive in here, just a quick reminder that our first quarter um, incentive is starting to wrap up on March 31st, the hospital indemnity incentive will be done. So if you have some hospital indemnity clients that are sitting around that you're thinking about, now's the time to push just a little bit harder on those and get us some extra cash for them. Not just commission, get some incentive money. With the dental one, April 1st through June 30th, these are pretty cool because you have no minimum number of applications required, and the payout is $20 per application. So if you write one, it's $20. You write two, it's $40. You write 16, it's $320. No minimum number on your application. Okay, guys, I know it's kind of short and sweet, um, but thank you so much for having me on. If you need me, this is my um, my phone number, this is my office number, but it comes to my cell phone. So if you have my cell phone, totally fine, it's gonna to come to the same phone. And then don't forget about your MIC website. If you need to go get your My Enroller, download it now, get comfortable with it. Um, like I said, I'm gonna send over the slides to Andrew along with that incentive flyer that you guys saw in here. And then I'm gonna send over what we call our dental toolkit. So you have the highlight sheets and the brochure in PDF form, but if you need to order them in hard copy, head on out to Merrill and get those orders placed. All right, Andrew, thanks for having me on. Do we have any questions? Yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to bring our screen and put our information uh, back here on our website too, just in case if anybody needs our information as well. Um, can you see my screen okay, Gus? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, very good. So that's just our info. You guys can take a picture of it there. Uh, we've got marketers that are ready for you guys to take calls on the dental plan, help you guys get contracted if you guys are not already. Uh, quite a few of you on here are already contracted with Medico. So let's get you some supplies ordered and get everything uh, ready to go and make sure you guys are set up with that my enroller because it is an e-app only. So it's a change, but I can tell you it's a very friendly e-app and uh, you guys will love it. We do have a few questions that's here, and I think some of them got answered, but we'll just kind of reiterate as well. Uh, Ms. Beverly asked, what are the implant benefits in detail? Um, and I think that was just recap that you have one implant every three years, correct, Gus? Yes, yep, implants are one per three years. Okay. Uh, Don just made a comment uh, about Medicare Advantage uh, covering dental. Yes, some plans do, some plans don't, but I think the big thing is comparing what your client's needs actually are. Um, not all dental plans that are in the MA mm -hmm. plans are robust enough to cover their actual needs. So uh, it doesn't hurt to be able to compare those. You know, fill that on the scope of appointment that you're going to talk about dental and bring up the Medico dental plan and uh, show them the added benefits. Let's see here. Uh, is there going to be a coordination of benefits for those that may have another dental plan? Can they submit the bills direct to Medico? So we do not coordinate benefits on any of our plans. Um, so if they have another one and you want to, they want ours, they can do that. And then yes, you can. Um, actually, Andrew, I'll send this over to you as well. But our marketing department just came up with a booklet of how to file. Medico, um, and it's just kind of it's something that's pretty neat that they put together. So if you have any questions on any plan submitting a claim, it's going to be in this like little sheet thing that they did. Um, but yeah, you can submit it straight to Medico, or they can either fill out a claims form on the website, or if they can get just like a bill from the office, they can send that in as well. But I'll send that over awesome. to you as well, Andrew. Yeah, send that over to me and I'll send that out in my uh, email that I'm going to send out here in a little bit. And then maybe an updated uh, flyer there on the incentive program that we'll touch base on too. Um, another question, this is more on kind of a pre-ex. So if someone goes in the dentist, needs a service, and then gets a Medico plan, will Medico cover that service or is it considered a pre-ex? If they have already been told that they need it, that would be, be pre-existing, yeah. Yep. Exactly. Let's see here if we got any other ones. Looks like there's some compensation questions, things like that. That will be in the email that I'm going to send out. Yes, I will have a recording of this. It does take a little while to download, so it'll take about 30 minutes before I get this email out. But I'll have all the plan details, highlights for you guys, recaps on what is needed or what you guys have heard about today. And then I believe uh, Miss. Gus is going to send me some more slides, and we'll send those as well. So, uh, wait, one more question here. We have, uh, with the carryover rider, could you have a $3,000 for an implant? Not sure, Beverly, uh, I will. Yeah, they, you good? yeah. Go ahead. Whatever they carry over, it's theirs to use. Perfect. That carryover is going to be huge. I don't see a lot of carriers doing that. So, that's um, definitely a unique yeah. tool for you guys, and very cost-effective, too. Mm -hmm. At only like eight dollars a month, I think it's I think it's worth it. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I think that's all the questions for today, Gus. We kind of made that short and sweet, and that's how we like the webinars, so everybody can kind of get on with their day and get things going. Once again, our numbers on the uh, screen there: the eight hundred eight five two seventy one fifty two to give us a call to either get contracted, answer more questions that you might have, get you set up in that my enroller, so you guys are ready to rock and roll when it comes to April one. Uh, Gus, I always appreciate you very much, everything that you guys do for our agents, for us, and for hosting this webinar. So I hope you have a great Friday as well. Thanks, everybody, for joining, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you. Have a great day.